Today we're going to ban some ospreys on man-made platforms near Sugarloaf, uh, a region of the, the reservoir that's between Cascade and Donnelly. This banding is to assess productivity, to learn how many nestlings are in the nest. Uh, sometimes that's difficult to assess from the ground. It's also to add metal bands to, to these birds, affix them to the bird's legs in case they are found. We can get an idea of what type of dynamics might be happening in this population, uh, whether birds are dispersing away from the population. Further, we're going to make some morphometric measures on some of these birds and uh, determine their sex using a discriminant function analysis. We have a three-year grant from the National Science Foundation to bring a number of undergraduates to Boise State University in the summertime to learn how to do science and specifically science on, on raptors, which are birds of prey. Today we're on a field trip with one of those REU students and his project is focused on ospreys and so we're at Lake Cascade. We just pulled a, a number of osprey off of a nesting platform and, and Mike, the REU student, is getting a chance to ban those birds. He makes a variety of measurements and his research is focused on understanding the effects of human impacts on the, on the reproductive ecology of, of the osprey. And we have a number of other REU students with us today. And those REU students come from across the country, as far away as New York and California. And we have a number of Idaho students and, and then from the Midwest as well. Each of those students has a, a, an individual research project focused on raptors. Today, the students are getting a chance to learn how to handle the osprey. They're learning how to take measurements from the ospreys. Uh, apply a band, a uniquely numbered band, so that individual can be identified if it's ever recaptured by by other folks up here or somewhere else in the Ospreys range when they migrate out of Idaho. So I applied for this REU and I got it and they flew me out and it's just been so awesome. I mean, check this guy out. Like, it's just so, so amazing. It's been an amazing learning experience. It's something that I would have never imagined I would have had a chance to do. I'm getting an experience that I'd never get anywhere else. I'm learning techniques and I'm getting exposure to these things that I wouldn't have as a normal undergraduate. Like this is something that is going to be preparing me for graduate school, which I'm going to be applying to soon with a graduation date coming up. So, I mean, it's it's been amazing. And like I said, getting to meet these other people and having these networks now that I wouldn't have had without the RU program is something that you can't, like I said, you can't get anywhere else. This is a fish hook and attached to some monofilament line. And, and then there were some lead sinkers attached to it as well. And we just actually removed this from the, the lower leg, the tarsus of a nestling osprey up here at Lake Cascade. And this illustrates what, what is really a common problem in, in areas that are, are big fisheries where, where humans go fishing. That is, sometimes they'll cast away their used monofilament, and that monofilament ends up um, in, in bird nests, wrapped around the necks of birds, wrapped around the legs of birds, and causes all kinds of conservation problems. This guy also had a fish net wrapped around his leg that we got off, so it was really pretty awesome that we got to help this guy out. So we're just out banning him, checking out the nest. So now if this bird is found anywhere or recaptured, they can check that mark and we can know where it's been. So actually, I really would love to come to Boise State for um, my masters. They've got the only raptor biology masters in the country. So hopefully that's my plan. <laughs>